Yeah, YouTube family, what one? Maverick in this space again. Go on to the right thing, you know. Now share the video them. Tell your friends and your family about it. Oral Tracy Maverick. Best and most credible opinion. Fear and fearless analysis. YouTube family. You remember when Leon Bailey go up on the interview with him and say me that bodyguard when he come to Jamaica. Because people are rolling by the Maria and they I know him on the bodyguard. After him kick off the gunners put off a fire weekend. <laughs> All gunners want him. So people, JFF, get a bodyguard. Craig Butler, get a bodyguard, Villian. Anytime I come back to Jamaica, he need the extra security. <laughs> The enigma of Leon Bailey continues, people. Leon Bailey gone 31 games in the Premier League for Aston Villa this year. He has 9 goals and 8 assists. That has 17 goal involvement this season. Remember, no for the time I come out for the bench. You know. The argument will continue. You know. Why Leon can't produce them kind of numbers? Yeah? And even apart from the numbers, why can't perform just even 60%? And the way he performed for Aston Villa for Jamaica. No, until Leon play for Jamaica and fix that, the question about continue to ask. As long as he continue for do what he do for Aston Villa, a nice goal him score still. Games gone as well. Box off them, put off a fire, clean, clean, clean. I'm going to tell you a while ago now, say, this season, nine goals and eight assists. No, we got peep over the fence and look on Leon Bailey. International numbers. Bailey played 30 games for Jamaica. He had five goals. Google now show me no assists. And the questions are going to continue to be asked. And that interview where him do, and blaze some fire with him, it don't make him life as a Jamaican international any easier. Instructively, but there's somewhere over the weekend, our function, our football function, you know, even the JFF president was there. And I was the master of ceremony for the function. And we seized the opportunity to say, Mr. Ricketts, for the podium, you know. Mr. Ricketts, I hope. What is the situation with Leon Bailey getting back into the national team? This was all in jest and fun, you know. Because, you know, as we say, it's a function with it. So, Mr. Ricketts said to me, say, Ask the public what they feel. Like you must say, Ask everybody inside what they feel. And we say, to the gathering that was there, as we say, it's a football function with you know. And we say, all the people them in favor of Leon Bailey returning to the national team put up on a hand. You know, say nobody has no go up. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. We have to proceed in our monologue, you know. I say, people, look, we don't forgive Leon. He was upset because he got suspended. And anybody who ever get themselves suspended, you know, says not a nice feeling, and you're angry, and you're hurt inside, and you feel betrayed, and all of them something. All when you're wrong, you know, I say you feel when you get suspended. So we kind of beg the case, you know, I said to Mr. Ricketts, again in jest and lightheartedly, Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Mr. Ricketts, try to start it out and make sure you're Leon, all right, and come back to the team. I think Mr. Ricketts said, I the national coach, I'm going to deal with it. But the point to me, I make to you still is how much the sentiments out there in a football land is against Leon after the statement we make. This was the night before he beat Arsenal. You know? So the night before he scored the goal. So maybe people's sentiments to change after them see another big performance by the big EPL stage. But the point to me, I make though, the Leon Bailey enigma continues. And the baller is doing so well. Showing what I mean when he beats him. Uh, he no not need Jamaica. Because if he continues to perform at that level, he does not need Jamaica. Me personally, me want to see him back in the national team. And if he get the sense, so the coach want him back in the national team. And that's the most important thing. We must say Jamaica has a football culture. You know. We have a tourism culture and a little petty culture and a little, you know, cast cast culture. So the man say a thing and we ready to chastise and crucify him. Coach Al Grimson has come from Europe. He said, yeah, the ball has been looking at the friends. He said, tell Jamaica, Leon Bailey is Jamaica future. And that Coach Al Grimson said, no. Remember when he just come here and JFF and did the argument with Blake, the goalkeeper, the coach, and he want to be captain. He said, me captain, come below. No, why you know me now? But me as the coach, and he want to be captain. So I feel that is saving grace for Bailey. 
coach Al Gibson, I go able to mediate and reach with him and get him brain set in the right position. Kabbalah, let me tell you something, Bailey. You see the opportunity where you have to go play in a World Cup this time around. You know, sure if you see the opportunity here again. You know, sure if you see that kind of opportunity here again. We don't know when Kanka Kaf are going to host the next World Cup. I went six teams are going to qualify from Kanka Kaf. I stick the suspension and stay here, my boss. Know about yourself. That too shall pass. <laughs> the Maverick can read it really like a G. You know, so the Maverick was there when Leon signed the contract and go past Aston Villa. I was in the building, you know. Yeah, man, there was a contract where he signed and it was done remotely because he do it in a Kingston and they, they, it was, it was, you know, it was transmitted back to the club. Yeah, man, I was there. I remember having a few words with the ball and said, yo, go on, do you think, you know, sky's the limit, you know. All in the long scope on Liverpool. Yeah. And the man abide by my words. Because the man scope on Manchester City. Scope on Arsenal. And spear Liverpool. Well, Liverpool are going on before the season ends still. So, I hope you remember the wise words of the Maverick. They tell him. <laughs> it was a piece of brilliance again from Leon Weekends. He played a good game overall. Come off of the bench. And as we say, find the killer. He, he's, well, he, he, he scored the first goal. Later in the game. But kind of... Push up Arsenal up the park and look the equaliser and then get caught by the break for the second goal and two love and that was the game set and match. To, if you ask me, that was Arsenal Premier League who has gone up in a smoke too. Because now that City hit the front, you don't know how to take a Herculean task if you get back to them. Big up the ball still. Go on do your thing and blaze your trail. Make your money. And build your legacy. Look after your family and the people them close to you. You know, the end game, that's why it all comes down to you know. It's when them lights say stop shine bright and the crowd stop chanting your name and you and your family alone are left for start it out, baller. So go and do you know. Chart your course. Yeah. And you must know how you reconcile with the national public, with the Jamaican public, with some of the utterances and some of the actions. But you know, say all the Jamaican people, we are cuss you, all the football fans, we are cuss you. I want them, why you do well for Jamaica, you know? And I hate nobody, hate, you know? Nobody not hate Leon Bailey. Remember that. Them great Craig because of how oh, Craig go on and Craig can live with that. Craig grow, Craig have alligator skin. But you as the baller, nobody not hate Leon Bailey. Remember me tell you, nobody where you hear a red head, you know, hate Leon Bailey. You don't forget to matter something. You're a baller, you don't perform well, you get criticism. And I hate nobody hate you. I want them when you play better. If you're for Aston Villa and a tush tush Aston Villa, the Englishman about cuss you too. And you know that too. So they want to make it look like as on personal Jamaica people have against Leon Bailey. What do you think still? Maverick out. My voice sounds so stout. But still, the Maverick out. <laughs>